system. I do the system um, at least twice a year, sometimes three, maybe even four, uh, sometimes every quarter, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, as a health coach, people often ask me, uh, how often do you cleanse? And really, my answer is every day. Every day, I'm trying to push toxins out of my life and my environment as much as I can. But this deeper cleanse, I do, um, like I said, a couple times a year. So I am going to jump right in and see if I can keep to time. And what you see here is uh, a fish in dirty water jumping to the clean. So a fish can't thrive in dirty water. And this is the same with us. We are at the point in our evolution right now where we are surrounded by toxins uh, in the food we eat, in our body products, in our environment. Um, we kind of can't get away from it at this point. And um, so we need to take steps. We need to make efforts to um, cleanse the body and, and get all of our organs filtering and functioning properly. So this is us some, sometimes, right? Or at least it is me sometimes. I can only speak for myself. So um, I just want to point out, so this is not a weight loss program. Um, this is a cleanse and restore to help our organs function a little bit more optimally. Um, but there's never a good time, right? So after the summer, you know, usually, oh, it's summer, you know, we're having a good time. So we're overindulging. But then in the fall, you know, we have Halloween and we have Christmas and there's always an occasion. So what I like to do is just we're going to do this all together and hopefully we can mitigate these little blips in our lives. And I don't uh, I'm not one to uh, deprive myself and I don't think you should either, uh, but it happens and we're just going to learn how to mitigate it. So what does detox? So, so why does detoxifying and cleansing even matter? So if you think about this, this is a dirty air filter, right? So we all have them in our homes. We have to clean them out. If we didn't do that, the air quality would be horrible and we would be sick all the time. Um, so what would happen to the AC or the heating unit, if we didn't clean out these filters, it would stop functioning, right? So it's important to keep them clean so the unit runs optimally. And it's no different for our body. We, the, we also have filtering units uh, built-in filtering units and they can get dirty, damaged, clogged, bogged down. So we have to take measures. We have to cleanse those filtering organs so they also remain running at an optimal level. Um, and if you think about it, so some people might think, you know, I don't really need to cleanse. Why do I need to do this? So if you're one who has any of these symptoms, so constipation, bloating, gas, just not feeling right, skin problems, lethargic, low energy, mood fluctuations, weight gain that's hard to lose, immunity issues, headaches, aches and pains, cravings, bad breath, body odor. I could actually go on. Um, a lot of these symptoms can be an indication that a really nice cleanse is in order. And also the fact that we are inundated with more toxins now in one day than our grandparents were in their entire lifetime. So that's a scary statistic. And it's no wonder we have the increasing cancer rates that we do and increasing autoimmune disease. We have Franken food and GMOs and all these things. So if we don't work and make an effort to flush out these toxins, our body will suffer in the long run. Um, and just a little bit of background as to who is behind this system or who helped anyway uh, is Dr. Josh Axe. So anyone who knows me, you know that this is my guy. Um, as a health coach, he uh, was somebody I followed religiously. And this is the person who introduced me to essential oils as well. Um, so he is a doctor of natural medicine, functional medicine, and a clinical nutritionist. And he is also a chiropractor. So extremely knowledgeable, and uh, he also runs, it says here in the slide, the top 10 most visited website, but he actually now runs the number one uh, natural health and wellness website in the world at drx.com. So uh, if anyone asks me a question, and I, of course, have my own references, but I also always cross-reference with Dr. X, and he'll also include essential oils in there as well. So he is my guy. And who am I? Um, I am Gina Whiteout. I am a certified health coach and doTERRA wellness advocate. 
and my interests uh, or obsessions, I should say, include plant-based nutrition, disease prevention, and reducing toxic load. So um, I ended up heading down this path because of my own health scare. And when I was 37, I found a breast lump and that scared the hell out of me. So um, as a, my background is in research and evaluation. So I just researched everything I could possibly read on this topic and uh, was so surprised because I didn't know that our bodies are designed to heal, heal itself. Um, we have all these natural, like I said, the filtering organs and the natural processes. Um, if we kind of get out of our own way, the body will do naturally what it's designed to do. Um, so this is what I like to call the pyramid of optimal health. I often call it the, the Terra Wellness Pyramid. So the four lower levels are critical to cleanse and detoxify the body naturally. So we all know, right? We're supposed to eat right and exercise. That's not news to anybody. Um, rest and managing stress. We know we need to do that, but it's not something we might not take that quite as seriously as we should. And certainly reducing toxic load is news to a lot of people and not realizing how inundated we are and how it affects our bodies. So I like to focus, so that'll be our focus uh, mostly for this evening. And, uh, and of course on the top, we also have informed self-care and proper medical care when going to your doctor and things like that. Um, so what is the big deal with toxic load? So I mentioned all those symptoms, right? And that is what you see here. So body odor, low energy, uh, seasonal allergies, um, skin blemishes, which we'll talk about why that might be, and uh, occasional tummy discomfort. So we're going to talk about some action items and how the cleanse uh, and restore protocol will work so that uh, you can use for yourself and uh, who may be under a high amount of toxic load. And uh, what is the root? So this is just a snapshot of what is at the root of toxic overload. So like I said, we're surrounded. Um, we have stress, right? We may work long hours, so we're not sleeping and uh, sitting at a desk all day. And of course, sitting is the new smoking, even though you see the cigarettes here. And cigarette smoke, one of the most harmful toxins of all, even if you're not a smoker, if you're around somebody who is, you're getting the same level of toxic overload as they are. Um, so I don't know if cigarette smoking is decreasing dramatically, but I actually... I actually don't know anyone who smokes. <laughs> Maybe that's just the people I hang around with. Uh, I'm not sure. But certainly with if cigarette smoke is an issue, if, if somebody smokes in your home, it's on the walls. It's in, it's in the furniture. And these are often carcinogenic chemicals um, that will leach into your system. Energy drinks. We should never have any use for those ever. They're not doing our body any good. And of course, then there's the processed food, right? That, um, and I'm not saying I don't ever eat processed food. I mean, of course I do sometimes, um, but this shouldn't be the norm. Um, and pharmaceutical, right? Medications, um, they're full of synthetics. The body does not recognize them, which is why we have so many side effects from them. So if you're actually taking four medications that cost a cytochrome P450, pathway in the liver, then you are at a 100% chance of a drug interaction uh, in taking uh, all these medications. So you can imagine some people are on 10, 20, 30 different medications a day. Um, so they're definitely putting a great strain on our detoxifying organs. Household cleaners and cosmetics. So this is a biggie. So I actually don't have any chemical, chemical cleaners in my home and I'm not saying that to brag or that I'm the picture of perfection when it comes to this. I'm not. Uh, it's taken um, many years to get to where I am, I guess, in my own home. Um, but I just use essential oils, vinegar, water, baking soda, and my home is just as clean. And I actually don't understand why anyone would use these products in their home. And I guess it's just because it's what we're used to. And I've been reading about this for years, but I think it's actually a tagline for method cleaning products. They say, don't clean your home with dirty products. And that's, that's what I see here when I see chemical products. People think they're cleaning their home, but they're actually just spreading chemicals all over the place. And 
It's getting on, if you have babies crawling on the floor or pets, it's getting on their hands, they're eating it. And think about this statistic. On a typical cleaning day in a typical Canadian home, levels of chemicals in the indoor air can be hundreds, even thousands of times higher than the outdoor air in the most polluted of cities. So think about that for a minute, right? If we're walking around a super polluted city that we, that we know of, we might wanna wear a mask or cover our sleeve, but that's actually what we're breathing in and inhaling on, on a cleaning day near our home. And in fact, the air pollution levels would be high enough to trigger an inspection by health and safety authorities in any workplace setting. So that's a crazy, scary statistic in my opinion, and one that you should really think hard about, and it's one that you can make changes. We, we don't have a whole lot of control. Once we walk out our front door, we don't really have a whole lot of control if we eat at a restaurant, what we're cooking on, whether the food is organic, and the air we're breathing, or if somebody's smoking on a bus or something like that, we can't control that. But in our own home, that's where you have all the control. And the same thing for cosmetics. Um, there's often lots of heavy metals in these cosmetics and a whole host of other ingredients. That's a whole other topic that I did a couple weeks ago, I think. And um, you might have heard the statistic that women slather, women especially, slather upwards of 500 different chemicals on our bodies every single day. All right, so we're, we're like walking chemical experience and it's not okay. It's a stress on our body and that stress over time is going to cause issues with immunity and inflammation. So these are the exposure pathways, right? So where the toxins are seeping into our systems, through our lungs, we're breathing these things in, through our gastrointestinal tract, right? We're eating foods with chemicals and pesticides in it and um, things are being absorbed on our skin, right? So anything that we're slathering on uh, ourselves on purpose or even laundry detergent, the clothes is on our skin all day long or sleeping uh, on our bed sheets. This is all being absorbed into our systems. So contributing factors impacting toxic load. So you can put these into kind of three categories. So there's chemicals, and we've talked about this, chemicals like the shampoo, lotions, cosmetics, cleaning products, outdoor pollution, stress, stress, and more stress. And the more stress we put on ourselves, it eventually, it's not just mental, it becomes physical as well uh, as the emotional and can cause quite a bit of harm. Um, poor nutrition. Uh, poor nutrition is actually the biggest factor in the body's ability, inability to cope with toxic load. So we're going to talk about all of these things, how we can uh, see if we can reduce the stresses on our systems. So this is a bit of a loaded slide. So reducing toxic load. So there's a few things we can avoid, like petrochemicals. So if I go to a meeting and I see the coffee and tea being poured into styrofoam cups or a soup, uh, I generally won't drink or eat anything that's poured into styrofoam or plastic. Or even if I go to a store where they might have ready, uh, ready-made hot soups and that, but they're in plastic, so I know that they were very hot when they were poured into the plastic, and then it's uh, heating it up, and those plastics, the petrochemicals from it, are leaching into your food. So I tend not to buy or eat from um, styrofoam and from petrochemicals. So the body has a really hard time getting rid of it. Um, and these chemicals can certainly wreak havoc on the body um, and cause a big mess on the endocrine system. Um, you'd be happy to know essential oils are amazing at breaking down petrochemicals in your cells and helping to release them from the body. Uh, we can avoid heavy metals like mercury, aluminum, lead, things like that. So um, say if you have still have mercury fillings, you might want to think about removing them um, don't use aluminum cookware, things like that. Make sure there's no lead in your makeup. Um, reduce exposure to chemical toxins, so pesticides. Try to buy organic as much as you can. Um, stay away from cigarette smoke and your cleaning and personal hygiene products. Try to make them as clean as possible. So this is where doTERRA can come in. Uh, doTERRA has replacements for all of these things and beautiful non-toxic alternatives. So doTERRA skincare, is absolutely beautiful. I wouldn't use anything else. So hair care, their toothpaste, deodorant, 
laundry detergent uh, cleaner, the cleaner concentrate is amazing. Um, so you want to, you definitely want to think about switching to non-toxic cleaners. Um, eat more raw and fresh fruits and veggies, uh, and hopefully try to make them organic. I know organic can sometimes be more expensive, but just use the clean 15, the dirty dozen and the clean 15. If you search on environmental working group and search clean 15, those are the top 15 fruits and vegetables that tend to have the less, least amount of pesticides on them. The Dirty Dozen uh, is a list of fruits and vegetables that you should absolutely buy organic. So at least you can pick and choose a little bit. And diffuse oils to cleanse the air that we're living in. So not only does it clean the air for you, but um, it can positively impact your mood as well. So uh, stress management. So when we manage stress better, we manage our toxic load better. So doTERRA does have a variety of tools that can help manage stress. So the lifelong vitality supplements, you're going to hear me talk about these a lot. <laughs> They're a foundation um, and a major support. Um, trim shake. Uh, doTERRA's Yamasasi trim shakes have an adaptogen in it called ashwagandha. And it's known to reduce cortisol, which is our stress hormone. So if you have uh, increasing amounts of cortisol in your system, uh, it will eventually lead to inflammation and inflammation is at the root of all disease. So ashwagandha is an amazing uh, addition to the trim shakes. Um, and other products like the citrus oils are fantastic. Like I said, they can break down petrochemicals. Um, they're super high in antioxidants. So they're amazing tools. Other ways you can reduce stress in your everyday life is to um, Diffuse essential oils in your home or office. Um, take deep breaths. Don't forget to breathe. I used to always forget that. <laughs> to just take a moment and do deep breathing. Um, sing, listen to music, watch a funny movie. So all of these things are stress reducers. Um, if I feel like I really need to de-stress and just lighten up, I'll sit down and I'll watch a couple episodes of Big Bang Theory. <laughs> One of my favorite shows, but and, and definitely makes me laugh. Um, go for a walk, get outdoors, do what makes you happy, take a warm bath. This is one of my favorite things to do in the winter. Use essential oils in the bath, so add them to Epsom salts or a tablespoon of coconut oil and just set that for your bath. Get a massage using essential oils or any hobby that you have, whether it's crafting, meditation. Be grateful, um, especially, and sleep. Sleep is so important. Because when you're sleeping, that's when the body is detoxifying and restoring. So you're better able to manage your stress levels if you're getting in those seven, eight, uh, or nine hours even. So that's discussing the chemicals and the stress. Uh, and then we'll move into the nutritional part and how to mitigate that. So these are the body's five filtering organs are the liver, lungs, colon, kidney, and the skin. Um, so many organs of the body have powerful detoxification functions, uh, particularly the liver, kidneys, and colon. So supporting these organs is important for maintaining optimal detoxification function and keeping the body clear of toxins. And the liver is the metabolic powerhouse responsible for processing fats, proteins, carbohydrates, and other nutrients into forms that are easy to use by the rest of the body. And this organ also plays a key role in detoxifying the body of drugs, toxins, and after metabolism in the liver, any waste products must be eliminated. So solid waste is removed through the colon in the form of feces, while nitrogenous waste is eliminated through the kidneys as urea. And notice the liver doesn't have its own chimney, so to speak, and is reliant on mainly the kidneys and the colon for elimination. So I can't stress enough that we can't detox properly if our pathways of elimination are not functioning properly. So, um, so if uh, these two aren't able to partner sufficiently with the liver, the body will find another exit point for waste products, and that usually ends up being the skin. So if you are, for example, if you're constipated and the body can't rid the waste in that way, um, you'll often see skin eruptions. Um, so that's why also sweating is, is good to do while you are detoxing and good to do regularly anyway, not just during the detox, um, but as a, the skin is another pathway of elimination. 
Um, so another interesting point, um, many toxins are fat soluble. So the body has to deal with these toxins and the liver plays a major role. So often there's an excessive amount of toxins to deal with. And as part of the body's natural immune response, these toxins are moved into fatty tissue in an effort to protect critical organs. So the more toxic we are, the more the body's going to start padding major organs to protect them from the toxins. So uh, it's basically, it's a protective measure that dilutes the toxins and prevents them from causing harm to major organs. So when this happens, it is difficult to lose fat. So a lot of people say to me, you know, I'm doing everything right and I just can't seem to drop the weight. Um, and that's why we often see a plateau but when you release toxins from, from the cells, um, all those petrochemicals and everything comes out, often you'll see uh, weight will tend to go with it. So, and like I said, this is not a weight loss program. I'm not promising 10 pounds in 10 days to anything, um, but it's often a nice little side effect of a, of a really good detox. So other practical things for cleansing the body. So this is kind of a no brainer. Obviously we need to hydrate in order to flush those toxins out of the body. Um, hydration is key to rid the body of those uh, um, water soluble toxins. And I would recommend, especially during a cleanse, but regularly if you sweat a lot or if you live in a really warm climate, uh, but during a cleanse, I'd recommend at least three liters a day. And I know that can take some getting used to, and your body does adapt. Um, and use oils with it as well. So citrus oils uh, to help break down any of those petrochemicals and add those antioxidants into your body. Peppermint is cooling and helps ease any stomach upset. And uh, cinnamon sassy also, we'll talk about this one a little bit more in depth. But adding uh, essential oils to your water, um, it has those benefits and it also tastes amazing. So it'll help you drink a little bit more than normal. Um, and now we'll get into, so we talked about the uh, chemicals and the reducing stress. Um, and now we'll address the nutritional part of the cleanse and restore system. So as you were, I'm sure you're aware, poor nutrition is the largest contributing factor in disabling our body's ability to self-cleanse. So for optimal function, the body needs a strong foundation. So I recommend the lifelong vitality supplements to everyone. <laughs> um, we all need a supplement from a health coaching perspective. We do need to supplement. We are not getting um, the same nutrition from our food that our parents or our grandparents got. Um, and, uh, you know, with the stress levels that we have in our lives today, stress over time depletes our nutrient stores. And uh, so these are things you need to consider. And I've been, to, so this is not just for the cleanse. I've been taking the Lifelong Vitality supplements now for almost three years, and I don't intend to stop. Um, and they are a whole food supplement, which is really important because if you're, if you're using synthetics and synthetic supplements, then the body just doesn't recognize that as food. And it's that stuff that's going to be stored back into your cells. And that's not the effect we want. So when it's a whole food supplement, the body recognizes it as a nutrient, just like eating an apple. Um, so this is a major support system throughout the cleanse and, um, and also for, life really um, it's loaded with antioxidants to help reduce toxic stress uh, there's enzymes to help with digestion and metabolism vitamins and minerals to help with immune function and um, essential fatty acids to help strengthen our cell membranes so this is a staple and i really find for myself because generally my immunity has been uh, really bad throughout my life, but since I have been taking the Lifelong Vitality supplements and knowing how to use essential oils, I don't get sick anymore like I used to. My whole household uh, doesn't really catch a whole lot of illness, and I credit the Lifelong Vitality supplements. And what I do find is that when I stop taking them, so say if I run out, my shipment might be one or two weeks away and I'm without them for a bit, um, I do feel run down and I, I know 
notice it when I stop taking them. So these are an absolute staple and an important part of the cleanse and adding your nutritional foundation. Um, and also a part of this, so, oh, I should, oh yeah, I did mention, so the LLB you take for the full 30 days and also thereafter. For the full 30 days of the cleanse, you'll take um, the Terrazyme as well. Now the Terrazyme is a digestive enzyme complex. So this product contains a unique blend of active whole food enzymes and mineral cofactors that are often deficient from cooked, processed, or preservative-laden foods. And these ingredients aid digestion and support overall health of the GI tract. So uh, why are enzymes so important? So they enhance the body's detox process, they boost the body's ability to heal, help with proper digestive function, nutrient absorption, uh, energy production, hormone balance, and strengthen immunity. Um, but what I find, often we would get digestive enzymes from raw food. We tend not to eat as much raw vegetables uh, anymore like we should. Um, and also I find, um, so we're not getting it that way. As we age, we tend to lose a lot of digestive enzymes. But I also find that we don't sit down and take the time to eat and chew our food as well. So digestion actually starts in the mouth. And when we start chewing, we're releasing all those digestive enzymes in our saliva. Um, some of us tend to bypass, if you're a smoothie person, I'm a smoothie person, and I try to make my smoothies a little bit chunky, a little bit chewy, so that I do have to chew them a little bit. In Ayurveda practice, they recommend chewing your food 50 times, um, and I don't know, probably very few of us actually do that, but even 20 times is better, and uh, just to help with that digestive enzyme process. So this product will be helpful. Uh, especially. And what's also unique about this is that it contains lactase uh, to help digest lactose and prevent gas for people who are lactose intolerant. And there's also a proprietary anti-gluten blend for anyone who has issues with gluten sensitivity. Um, or uh, I even have clients with celiacs and this product is amazing for them. Uh, next we have the Zendocrine products. So um, these products are amazing uh, and an important part. So there's two, and these work synergistically together. So there's on the left, the Zendocrine Detoxification Complex, which is an herbal formula with essential oils uh, in it. And on the right is the Zendocrine Detoxification Blend, which is uh, a blend of essential oils. So you can see here there's tangerine, juniper berry, cilantro, geranium, and rosemary. So these work together. The, for the 30 days, you're going to take the Zendocrine uh, Herbal Detoxification Complex. And for 10 days, you're going to take the, um, the first 10 days, you'll take the detoxification blend. So what's really amazing here is that also it is a whole food plant-based uh, herbal extract formula. And with the cilantro and the Zendocrine, cilantro actually helps detox uh, heavy metals and protects against oxidative stress, relieves digestive upset, and soothes skin. So um, this will be a nice uh, addition to the cleanse program. And next, this is one of my favorite parts of the cleanse because this is where you'll feel like, okay, something's really happening here. <laughs> um, up until this point, you'll be taking the supplements and hopefully doing all of the other cleanse protocols, uh, things that I'm gonna suggest to uh, basically give you a better result. But on day 11, we will add the D GX assist. And the reason I say you'll know it's working because it tends to cause, depending on how toxic you are, it can cause some stomach upset. Um, but what this product is doing is it's really um, getting into the intestinal tract and basically giving it a really good deep cleaning. Um, this And what's unique about this one is that it has caprylic acid, which naturally cleanses and detoxifies the colon. Uh, caprylic acid is known to uh, for its antifungal effects. Uh, so for anyone who suffers from candida, this is going to help you tremendously. But it also has oregano, which is way more powerful than caprylic acid and is key to getting rid of any candida issues. And uh, there's other oils in there, oregano, lemon, malaleuca. So the chemistry of the oils provides a variety of phenol, alcohol, and aldehyde-type constituents that synergistically provide complete detoxification properties. 
And the unique formulation of this product provides powerful ingredients for purifying and cleansing the digestive system. So uh, you'll know it's working and uh, I'll help you through it. It's gonna be okay. But I do like this part of the cleanse. And this is, um, although the GX Assist is awesome, I love adding the PV Assist. Now I take this probiotic regularly, but during the cleanse on the last 10 days after the GX Assist, you're gonna add this product in and that's gonna repopulate all the good bacteria in your gut that you just cleansed uh, so thoroughly. So what I love about this is it's a double encapsulated formula. So the prebiotic fibers are on the outside of the capsule there and the probiotics sit inside, which allow it to get deeper down into the intestinal tract where it's designed to work. Um, so during the cleanse, you're going to take three of these a day for the last 10 days. And then for maintenance, you'll take one a day. Um, and this is an important step. Um, not only just restoring all the good guys in your digestive tract, but 70% of our immunity starts in the gut. The gut is often known as our second brain. And if there's an imbalance of the microbiome, the microbiome is the, the bacteria that we have on and in our bodies. And if there's an imbalance in that system, then our immunity is compromised. So a probiotic is especially important, especially if you've been taking any antibiotics recently. And then finally, also in the last 10 days, you're going to add DDR Prime. And this is also an essential oil uh, complex and is a blend of oils that will support a healthy cellular integrity. So I love this blend because it includes clove, thyme, and wild orange essential oils. And these provide powerful antioxidants that help protect against oxidative stress, uh, along with other oils that promote cellular health. But um, I don't know if you may have heard me in a previous presentation explain how clove has the highest rating of antioxidants of pretty much anything on the planet. Um, so super high and a beautiful addition to the cleanse restore system. So this is a little snapshot. I don't want to overwhelm you. So if you're interested in the cleanse and restore system, this is a picture of what you take and when. And I'm not going to overwhelm you with that now, um, but if you do decide to join me, I am running this full cleanse program in October. I don't remember if I mentioned that already. So October 1, we will start, and that'll give you time either in at the end of this month or in September to purchase um, the cleanse and restore system. And then you'll be ready for an October 1 start with me. I'll be doing it myself with you. So don't worry about this. I will be um, walking you through the whole thing. Uh, and also, just to note, there are other products that can help you. If you're looking to make some lifestyle changes, these are the other products that can help you out. So these are the Trim Shakes I mentioned. This one is also the shake is vegan. The Trim Shake is a whey protein. And this is the product I talked about that has ashwagandha in it, which is the adaptogen that can help you reduce cortisol, um, which is a result of stress. The Terra Greens. I use the greens powder uh, quite a bit when I feel like I've been lacking in my greens, they're so important. And I do have to say, these are the best tasting greens that I have ever eaten, ever. And I've chugged down some pretty nasty greens powders over the years. Um, and I can actually just mix this with water and a shaker and, and drink them down and it, it's, it's really amazing. Um, and I give this to my girls as well because they don't eat enough vegetables either. So this, uh, that's a staple in my home. Uh, for those of you who are lacking energy, stamina, if you're lethargic in the afternoon, you don't want to be adding more caffeine, Mito2 Max is amazing for energy, and it's a great alternative to caffeine. And if you're picking up uh, an exercise regimen, if you have sore muscles, the Deep Blue Rug is amazing, as is the Deep Blue Polyphenol Complex, if you have um, nagging uh, aches and pains. And finally, I can't uh, finish the cleanse and restore without mentioning um, doTERRA's Slim and Sassy Metabolic Blend. So this is an amazing blend of grapefruit, lemon, peppermint, ginger, and cinnamon. And the cleanse and restore system does come with lemon oil, but I would highly recommend adding the Slim and Sassy Metabolic Blend as well. Um, as part and parcel to the cleanse, just because of the oils that are in it. The cinnamon helps reduce cravings, and you can choose from either the oil or the soft gels. It's the same. The soft gel has um, 
five drops of the oil in it and you can just take it as a as a capsule so not only does this powerful blend help control appetite and boost metabolism but it helps manage the toxic load stored in fat tissue and released during weight loss so it gives you an option you can go back and forth between lemon and um, the metabolic blend but I, I do highly recommend this and the unique chemistry of these oils gives them diverse functionality. So not only do they help manage appetite and lift mood uh, while you're doing the cleanse, but they can boost metabolism, help support healthy insulin response and manage the toxic load of the body. And the lemon and grapefruit oils in this blend are particularly powerful in their capacity to boost, assist the body in effective detoxification um, of not only fat, but fat soluble toxins so highly recommend this addition so this is what the uh, cleanse and restore kit looks like and it'll come with all the products that you need for a full 30 days and the price for us canadians is 259 us you see the uscd there that means that for us canadians taxes are not ta yeah taxes and duties are already worked into the price so all that's added is 12.99 shipping and uh, like I said, I highly recommend adding the Slim and Sassy um, to help you qualify for this month's promotion. So this month, if you make a 200 PV order, um, you will get a 15 ml Lipsy oil, which is beautiful, and a Manuka Touch. So this, those two oils, you can't actually get them in North America. They're only available in Australia. So uh, that's a really amazing promotion we had this month and that would give you the 200 PV needed to get those for free and I would highly recommend ordering this on your LRP um, or you can do a one-time order but if you order on LRP you'll get extra points credited to your account and um, any questions please let me know that is that is it thanks for sticking with me and uh, I hope you will join me in October and I'm going to jump off the recording now and just answer any questions